right now I don't have that many Neo points to my name. We've got 9K on hand and we're gonna hit Trudy Surprise and I'm gonna show you guys how I work through trying to build up some Neo points to generate more Neo points in a session on Neopets. Trudy Surprise hands out a fixed amount of Neo points based on how many consecutive days you log in. So that puts us up at 18,000 Neo points easily doubled how much we have on hand. The next thing is to hit the bank. Since I have the highest account type, I get one Neo point a day with 1,000 Neo points in there. So I'm gonna withdraw all of that, bringing my total a little bit over 19,000 Neo points. Right now I'm big on keeping my shop updated. So we're gonna reduce the price on this and then hit the shop till. There's only 49 Neo points in there, but at this moment, everything counts. The next thing I'm gonna do is maintain my inventory. I try to handle everything as soon as I get it, but I haven't had a chance to do this since Sunday when I had my live stream, which was Neopets themed. So I got a lot of Neopets items. I'm going to eat all of the food. If it's a doubloon or a code stone, throw it safe to my safety deposit box. Anything else I am going to sell. This entire video actually took 30 minutes to record. It's 30 minutes of gameplay, but it's very condensed, including this part. Real talk about some unbuyables in my inventory. I'm trying to sell this dual bazooka Neopets trading card. I've had it up on the trading post. Nobody wanted it. I threw it back up on the trading post. Nobody wants it. Jelly Neo and the trading post values it at 5.5 million Neo points, but it means nothing to me if I can't actually move it. So I'm gonna throw it up in the auction house as a one NP auction. I just want it gone. Do what you must. If you want it, go ahead and get your bets in. It's only gonna be up for two days. And I know people are gonna ask about this. I do have a Chrome extension that puts icons below the Neopets item telling you a direct link to the shop wizard, the trading post, the auction genie or safety deposit box and Jelly Neo. And then the extension also changes the way that the item page works. You just get some quick links instead of that drop down. It doesn't add anything to the game. Even the shop wizard, it doesn't aggregate the answers like the super shop wizard, a premium perk does. This doesn't give you any advantage in the game. It doesn't load any extra pages. It doesn't cut anything out. It just makes the game not awful to play. I found these extensions on the Neopet subreddit. I really don't want to name them or walk through installing them. They're not against the rules. They don't do anything that should be against the rules. If they are against the rules, that means Neopets doesn't want you to enjoy playing the game. However, I really don't want to get frozen. If I get frozen over this, I'm absolutely 100% never going to play Neopets again because the game is unplayable with the layout that it has by default. Hats off to those of you who play it. Um, I don't want to get into any further detail though, just because I don't want to risk it. But yes, that is a Chrome extension. Now I'm going to roll through my dailies. For this, I use a web page of that's just links that was aggregated by somebody. They commented on my one of my videos recommending it. I'm leaving the URL totally visible right here, neomob.neocities.org slash index.html. This user put it together so they could play Neopets on mobile easier just to run through their dailies. I use this every time. It's super convenient. There will also be a link in the description. Of the dailies I do on a regular basis, the discarded magical blue grundo plushie of prosperity is probably one of the very few that actually pays out well. The underground fishing hole could pay out well eventually, but I also kind of want the stat, so I try to do it every six hours or whenever I can. If you haven't unlocked the Forgotten Shore yet, please go ahead and do it. You can win some amazing prizes and pretty regularly you'll get something nice like I did today. I have to admit, I got very lucky on my dailies today. In the fairy caverns, there's no strategy. I just always go right. Confession time, in all of my years on Neopets, I had no idea how a success was measured on the fruit machine. I kind of was always put off when the last two fruits would match or you know, the first and the third fruit would match. I'd be like, why am I not getting a prize? It all has to do with the very first two fruits. If those match, you get a prize. And if all three match, you get a prize. But it all has to do with the first fruit matching the second fruit. Otherwise, you're not getting a prize. 
Anyways, so I hit it lucky here too. It was a very lucky day. For the record, it might be a little bit boring or tedious to handle an item as soon as you get it, but I find it's the most efficient way to keep the amount of useless items in your inventory at a minimum. Believe it or not, I'm still trying to get the Wheel of Excitement avatar, so I decided to spend a little bit here just because there's a chance I might get out ahead. I don't, but it was worth the shot. Another interesting tactic to get some Neo points is to go to the Battle Dome. So not only do you win Neo points from winning the battle, this battle setup, I think I come away with 300 Neo points each time. It's not very much, but it's enough if you need to accumulate some Neo points in the beginning of your day to spend and make more Neo points later in the day, which is exactly what I was trying to do here. You also get really nice items. I get a bunch of code stones from these battles that I turn around and I could sell. I try to save those, but there's also a Battle Dome equipment and there's food. There's all kinds of interesting stuff you get in the Battle Dome that you can sell. It's a great way to come out ahead. I've had a few people ask for a Battle Dome guide and I'm not really informed on how the Battle Dome works, but it's something I'm looking into. I was pretty pleased with the takeaways from this Battle Dome adventure and then I immediately discarded the Code Stones instead of putting them in my safety deposit box. Wow, if only there was some way to make sure that the words didn't all look a whole lot alike. But it's totally on, on me, that was a newbie mistake. Uh, good job, Julie. Now that I've royally fouled that up, time to deal with the rest of the items by pricing them properly. Like I said, you have to do this multiple times in a gaming session, but it's totally worth it to make those sweet, sweet, very few Neo points that in the grand scheme of things, Probably won't mean anything, but hey, I'd rather have one Neo point to my name than none. And then we're gonna heal up Ella Estate before heading to do some jobs at the Fairyland Employment Agency, which is probably one of the sweetest underrated ways to make a whole lot of Neo points in a short period of time. We could spend a whole lot of time talking about the Fairyland Employment Agency. It could get its own video, but I'm just gonna run through the abridged version. Because this is something that has a skill number associated with it, how many jobs you attempt and complete is cumulatively rolled up on your Neopets pet description page. So I always try to do it with Pranky. She's my girl, she does the jobs, she gets it done. Now that she's active, we're gonna go to Fairyland and go to the Fairyland Employment Agency. This refreshes every 10 minutes, which used to be actually a pretty big deal back when people played Neopets. But now that people don't really play, it doesn't really matter. You're going to browse through the selection of jobs and try to eyeball something that looks like you're gonna come away with a major profit. You are going to get a bonus if you complete this quickly, but like I said, not as many people play Neopets anymore, so you don't have to worry about the competition, so I try to do research before I commit to a job. The basic overview of how this works is there's a posting that says, find three jam pastries, and you have a base reward of 8,586 Neo points. So by finding, it means having it in your inventory. So in order to come out ahead, you would go out and you would buy three jam pastries. What I'm doing is the research to make sure that that value is there, that I'm going to make a profit from buying three jam pastries and returning it for the base reward of 8,586 Neo points. Like I said, the faster you get it done, there's a bonus. So you're, after a while, you'll get used to which items show up in the employment agency and you'll get better at making a bigger profit. This isn't a huge way to make Neo points, but like I said, there is a skill associated. So it's something I try to do very regularly. There is a daily limit on how many jobs you can take. So I filled out as many jobs as I could. And at the end of the day, I walk away with 36,646 Neo points. So it's not a huge gain, but I'll take it. Plus the number on my Neopets pet description goes up and every day counts. So overall, I'm pleased with this. You can basically do what I did without the extension by just having multiple tabs open. Since I really care about completionism, we're gonna go ahead and try for the Wheel of Knowledge avatar as well and throw 400 Neo points at that. I don't actually think there's a way to get Neo points from this wheel, but hey, if I have Neo points on hand, I'm gonna give it a try. Time for the big guns. So the stock market, you can't rely on bringing in 
value every single day. A lot of people will comment on my streams or on my videos, hey, when am I gonna start seeing a profit? All of my stocks are down. And most days you're gonna put meal points in and not take any out. That's just the nature of the system. I don't sell my stocks until they've hit 60 Neo points a share, which means most days I have nothing to sell. But when I do have something to sell, I make a whole lot. And today, by sheer coincidence, all of the stars on Neo Pets lined up and I get to sell. I have 2,000 shares and I'm selling them. They are at 62 a share and coming out with a huge profit that I can turn into some Neo points to use in other ways now that I've made them. This was completely unanticipated. I mean, this is the reason why I buy stocks though, so I can cash them out and use that Neo points to buy other things, like more stocks. So I buy 1,000 shares of a stock that's at 16 Neo points a share, and then I can now move forward and First, I'm going to try going to the food club bets and placing bets. This is gambling, so it doesn't work out every time. And then I'm also going to try the Wheel of Extravagance. Just because I need that avatar, I might lose everything, or who knows, I might get something in exchange. This is why I make the Neo Points, so I can spend them on things and possibly get more Neo Points. I pretty recently did a video where I break down the food club bets and how I do it. This is just a quick run through this process where I pull up a betters recommendation page. I verify it's the right date. I take how many Neo points I have available to spend while still having 1000 Neo points left for the wheel of extravagance. And then I place my bets. The amount that you bet depends on how many days you've been playing Neo pets. I definitely recommend checking out that video if you have any questions about how this works. The long story short is I spend 44,220 Neo points on these bets. This is super rare that this happens. This video took longer than anticipated for me to work on. I did most of the audio yesterday and all of the recording yesterday. So I actually have the outcome of how these bets went. Like I said, this is gambling. It doesn't happen every time, but I really came out ahead. As of today, I made 100,000 Neo points off of these bets that you see me place in the video. Back in the realm of yesterday land, we're going to risk it all and spend all of the Neo points that I made on the Wheel of Extravagance. This is actually exactly why I kept 100,000 Neo points and my only goal in making Neo points every day until I get this avatar. I hit it incredibly lucky on this and I end up winning one Neo point in this spin which is absolutely ridiculous. This rarely happens. So at the very end of the day, I have 100,000 Neo points to my name. I hope this video was a little helpful to you guys. It is my process. It relies a little bit on betting with the food club bets and stock market. But if you keep doing those things, my firm opinion is that over time you'll make a huge profit. The auction that I built out yesterday has been running for a day and nobody's bid on it yet because I didn't release this video in time. So if you want that dual bazooka card, go ahead, go out there, do it. It's a one NP auction. Also, if you play Lydon and want to be a clan admin or part of the clan, go ahead and check in on that. And also, we're doing a new Patreon thing. I shook up my Patreon rewards, and if that's something you're interested in, you might want to check it out. I'm doing full lair review video each month, and that's raffled off to one of the Patreon tiers. A huge thank you to everyone who's been backing me on Patreon. The tier co-creator squad mate, they get a featurette on some of my videos. So here's everybody in that tier. Thank you so much for supporting me at this level. I really appreciate it. Okay, thanks guys so much for watching. If you have questions, leave them below and go get that dual bazooka card.